In this video, we're going to talk about the new Battalion Wally. Not the movie from Disney. It's a super soft jib board, and I mean super soft, featuring their jib 3BT technology, which gives the nose and the tail of this board a hull like shape where it's flat and then kicks up. It also features their sidekick technology, which builds on the 3BT. This gives the board an even more spoon like shape in the nose and the tail. When I say this board is soft, I mean it's super soft. This is a jib board for those of you that are riding rope toes in small little resorts. It's not a board that you're going to want to ride outside the park. This board features Battalion's low camber, which is basically a very mellow traditional camber. The Wally has to be one of the softest boards I've ridden for 2018. This is a full-blown jib noodle. Soft tips, soft underfoot, soft center, a lot of torsional give to it. This is a board for really playing around on the snow, and you're going to feel that. Stability, throw that out the window. You're not going to be stable on this board. This board feels every contour, bump, vibration. It all just resonates back up into your feet. You're never not going to feel anything with this board. It's not stable by any means. So this board does have traditional camber, which means you have to load it up to get pop. But it doesn't matter. This board's so soft, there's no rebound out of it. You can load it up all you want, but the snap itself is going to come from your legs, not from the board. This is a board that all the pop is dependent on the rider, and that carries over to jumps. Keep this thing on the small line, because medium jumps, it's not going to handle them. It's that soft and that floppy. This board does feature Battalion's Jib 3BT, which gives a huge platform for locking into presses, whether you're buttering or hitting a rail. It's one of those things that with this board's flex pattern, this is a board for lazy riders. You don't have to be aggressive to get it to lock into a press, whether buttering on the snow, a butter box, or even a rail. This is a board that's very, very easy to engage. You're gonna notice it takes next to minimal effort and there's no rebound or snap. It doesn't fight you. This is a board that's for the lazy rider, for someone that just wants a board that when they hit a rail, they're gonna do all the work. The board's just there for the ride. Ah, fuck, who let that goddamn little robot troglodyte in here? So you wanna carve? This is not the board for you. Aggressive carves, no. Hard carves, no. Mellow carves, maybe. This board's great for a setup turn or two. Maybe like a little swivel and sizzle slappy. The only way this board's meant to turn is if you're skidding it. Carves, no. Just no. That's all you need to know about this board is you just don't fucking carve with it. As you can obviously tell, the Wally is made for a jib kit. Someone that's just going to press rails, swivel and sizzle, just wants something super, super soft. Personally, this board's way too soft for me. I would never have this in my quiver, but for someone riding maybe the Midwest or the East Coast that's just hitting park and mainly just rails, go for it. If you're riding urban, there you go. This might be an option for you. Otherwise, don't know what to tell you. Yeah. All right, so now you've decided what snowboard you're gonna get and you're going to decide where you're gonna buy it. If you're shopping local, awesome. Slap your local shop guys a high five and tell them they're killing it. But for those of you that are buying online, why don't you shop from one of the links we have down below. That way you support us and you get a deal on your snowboard. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. That way you can see all the relevant or irrelevant snowboarding content that we're putting out for you guys. So smash that bell down below, that way you're getting a notification, and I'll see you guys in another video.